All right, someone came up with the question, how do I use Google Fonts with an external style sheet so I don't have to put the tag in every page? And actually, it's pretty easy. You just have to look around a little more. Uh, I'll need a working example. And this one, I'm going to assume you know what a web page is and what an external style sheet is. It doesn't matter what editor you use. I just happen to be using Visual Studio here. But right now, I just have the default fonts for the headings and the text. And what I want to do is I want to use, say, some Google fonts for the headings, maybe the text too. So I'll go out to Google, search for Google fonts, and then um, there's an old version and a new version right now. I'm going to go s flip over to the newer version and then kind of eliminate the kind of fonts you don't want to see. I'll go with either um, Let's do handwriting, make sure it's noticeable. And then just pick a font or two that you like. And you can pick more if you want, but it, it does take time to download them, so you don't, don't want to get too carried away with the fonts here. I'll just pick a couple at random, kind of. All right, so there's two fonts. Then you click this little minus sign thing here, and it opens up, and you say you want to see the at import code. You click that, and that's your CSS code. Now you don't need those style tags in an external style sheet. You only need those in an internal style sheet. So just copy out the code they give you without the tags and paste it right into the top of your style sheet. Mine's named stylesheet.css here. And then they show you how to define the fonts in your code. And it's basically the same names that you see in the import statement, but instead of a plus, there's a space. And you have to make sure you put them in quotation marks. And so I'll apply this first font to H1 tags and the second one to H2 tags. Okay, I'll save that. All right, so there's my import, and there I'm applying my fonts using the those two things. So I'll go back out to my page. Oops, got to put the style sheet in there. All right, so once once the page links to the style sheet, then the the headings take on those new fonts. It doesn't look that great in this preview. Let me go look in a browser. Okay, so there you can see the level one heading has one of the fonts, the level two has the other font. Of course, you can change anything anytime you want. I can go back out to the style sheet and say, um, you know what, I'm going to use this glory hallelujah for my body text too. I'm not saying you should do this in real life or anything, it's just an example. So I'll put that in as the body style ru rule, save the style sheet. And now you can see that's applied to the body text as well. Okay, makes sense? Thanks for watching.